Welcome to this fixing series in Excel. I'm going to cover three different examples on how you can leverage fixing to your advantage and improve how you write formulas on Excel. Hey Data Geeks, my name is Kunal. I help you master data science through non-linear methods of learning. So before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you never miss out on any of the awesome tricks to learn data science. So let's get into the first example. In the first example, we have a number 15 and we want to multiply the same number into all of these values that are present here, right? Now, if I do it in the normal way that I have to do it, I just say multiply this into this, you'll see that it goes down, but it doesn't multiply 15 into this number, right? This, this number also keeps shifting down, right? And so this is a way it fails in terms of multiplying 15 with each of the numbers that I have here, right? So the fixing logic that we have typically is it goes something like this, right? So I fix it basically using F4 key, right? Or you can just simply type the dollar, but it's better using the function 4 key. So I hit the F4 once. What this does is that it locks B3 at that position and now Whenever I multiply anything with it, it multiplies with 15 every time, right? So this number is getting multiplied by 15, uh, with 15, with 15, and so on and so forth, right? So this is the trick number one where I'm able to just press F4 once and able to fix it and then be able to drag it down. Let's take this a little further and I'll show you one more example where I'm just going to fix the row here, right? So when you press the function for key in Excel, what it does, it puts a dollar sign in front of the column B and the row three, right? So there's this symbol and there's this symbol. Wherever you move or copy this cell, right? This one remains fixed. So let's say I don't want this one to be uh, going towards the right hand side or fixed on the column side, right? So I don't want this, but I only want the row to be fixed, right? Now I'll give you an example why sometimes we want to do that. And let's say that I want to multiply this number with this number and some number that we have here, right? So three or four. Now what happens is if I copy it down uh, or fix it with this particular thing, let's say we can simply say multiply here um, and say F4 once, F4 twice. Now this time it's only fixing the row. This does not really matter, right? So this is another trick that you have here. And again, you can press F4, this time it will lock the B column, right? So the cells will not get copied towards the right hand side. And if I press F4 again, it brings back to the normal. Press F4 twice and then multiply with this number. I will get the same result uh, that I have here, right? The only difference is that if I copy it towards the right hand side, you'll see that the C3 the B3 becomes C3 and this one becomes D3, right? It comes forward and you don't want that to happen. Um, and so you can fix it either ways, but this is one example where you can only fix the row to get an answer, right? Now let's transpose this data and see how in the next example we can do something different, right? So in the, in the example to here, what I've done is I've transposed this data and I'll show you an example where the other fixing can be useful, right? So in this particular case, I'm going to take this one here and say F4. Now this time I'm not going to fix the row because I don't want to copy it downwards, right? The, the cells or the multiplication values are present towards the right hand side. And so I'll press F4 once and F4 twice. This time I want to fix it in the same column here, right? So if I say enter here and drag it towards the right hand side, you will be able to see Oh, sorry, I have to multiply with this number. I'll get the same set of numbers that I got here, right? So this is the way to basically fix either rows or columns, right? So if you're doing this, we are basically fix fixing the columns. We don't want the column that is this, this one to shift to right hand side. So that's why we fix the column. And if you don't want to fix the rows, this is how you do it. You fix the rows and you don't want this one to move down and that's why you're fixing it, right? Now, I have another example which will combine both of this, right? And this is something that if you figure out, you'll see that you can write a lot more complex formulas 
and get a lot of things done without even entering Excel VBA. So let's look at the uh, idea on what we have to create here, right? So in this, we want to basically multiply this one and this one and get an answer one. Similarly, I want to multiply five and five and get 25, right? You get the drift, right? Uh, and here I want to basically multiply one and five and then five will be the answer here or some let something here five maybe here is let's say three into five and that will be 15 right so you want to basically cross multiply each of the number uh, to get on the output now if you if you basically tried something like this saying this into this uh, you will notice that you're going to get an absurdly big number because every time you move the formula it's the the values are shifting right but you don't want that to shift you want that to be here and this to be here and then you'll be able to get the solution right but it unfortunately it's coming this way right so this is wrong which means we have to do some fixing and let's see what kind of fixing we need to do right so if i say just f4 fixing and do it it's, it's going to be f4 into this and f4 right so if i do this i'll get a grid of one uh, which is what which i don't which is what i don't want right like i want them to be shifting to here or here uh, based on how i move right and so to be able to do that what we need to do is this we need to say is equal to you multiply this now when this move right uh it moves downward right so you'll see that one two three four five moves downwards and so i don't want to fix this one rather i'll fix this because i don't want that number to keep going here like this right it's following me right so i don't want that and so what i'll do is the first number that we'll have here is i'm going to fix the column here and then same thing here i'll fix the uh, number here b and this time i don't want this number to move towards the downside and so i'm going to fix the row here so i'll say f4 f4 and this time i'll fix the row here so for one we are going to fix the um you know for this row data that we have we're going to fix the column and for oh sorry for the column data we have we're going to fix the a that is the column and this for this row data that we have we're going to fix the row and so this one can shift from column to column but it will not move down and so if i drag this down i'll get the same results because i'm multiplying it with one but if i start copying it towards the right hand side you'll see that these things are stuck there and i'm able to get the answer or the designed outcome that i want right so uh, this is how you use fixing to basically try to extract or multiply things in a way that helps you write formulas and I'm going to build on some business cases after you've known this logic. Uh, so do watch out for those videos where I'm going to, uh, you know, include some business logic on how I fix things using some ifs, count ifs, uh, VLOOKUP and all of that to get to a desired outcome. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit on the ring button to be able to receive a notification whenever I upload a video.